Now let's talk about why you should get a Salomon XT6. Wow, this is so nice. In person, like that looks much, much, much better. And we'll talk more about this pair of XT6s. Be right back. So what we're gonna do is take my Salomons on a real life field test. And now we're here in that walk. Hi. Hey. Now let's talk about why you should get a Salomon XT6. Okay, so right now I'm on a walking trail called Simmons Track or Simon's Track. Let's talk about the Salomon XT6, in particular, their End Wonder collaboration. This is the Salomon XT6 in collaboration with End Wonder. As you can see on the mesh tongue area, there's a text. Salomon, as you know, is a brand that's been producing shoes specifically for trails. The Salomon XC6 was first released back in 2013 to cater to trail runners, trail walkers. Shoes that is lightweight, but at the same time durable and at the same time comfortable and soft. Salomon XC6 is actually a trail shoes that's now crossing over to lifestyle. So there's a lot of fashion genres that's starting to incorporate Salomon XC4 and XC6 in their fits. You've got the Gorb core people, the technical clothing people. You have a lot of people in the streetwear now. People in the streetwear scene that's incorporating Salomon XT6 and XT4 to their fit. It's got a lot of functionalities to it that's very, very tech. I even see people that's into like the whole Japanese silhouette kind of like fashion fits, fashion genre. Like, you know, people that's into like Yoji Yamamoto, Comme des Garçons, you know, those flowy, drapey silhouettes. It's got a mesh textile upper that makes it breathable. So it is water repellent to a certain extent, but it's not fully. So it's got an EVA midsole. It gives you both balance between cushiony and like a durable, stable cushioning midsole system. In terms of comfort, there's two things that I look at. I look at how cushiony the midsole feels on the bottom of your feet and how the overall feel wrapped around your feet, like how it feels when your feet is inside the shoes. In terms of cushiony, I would say it's somewhere in between like New Balance. It's kind of like in between a New Balance and a Presto, a Nike Presto and an Ultra Boost. So you don't feel like you're sinking in like in an Ultra Boost. It feels super comfortable. Like it's something that you can wear all day and your feet's not gonna hurt. It wraps around your feet so well. It fits so well. It's the thing. It forms around your feet. Uh, trail shoes is meant to be stable. Let's talk about sizing. Sizing, I'm a true US Men 6. Presto, Air Force Ones, LD Waffles. But because my feet is slightly on the wide side, if I wear any running shoes, I go half a size up. Now, should you go true to size with XC6? And I went true to size with the US 6. At first it felt tight, but after like two minutes or so, it loosens up and it forms around your feet 
and it fits perfect because it's a narrow shoes. Not too narrow, but it's narrow. If you go size up, it gets too long. Comment down below, do you own any Salomons? Um, have you ever owned or do you own any XC6 or XC4? How do you feel about it? What's the sizing like for you? And that's it for this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, please hit that like button and smash it if you want to. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And please hit that notification bell so you're up to date with all my videos. All right, I'm gonna keep going in this trail and I'll end the video here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, peace, much love. I'm out.